The great thing about a submarine is if you can't see it, it's doing its job. The submarine is the ultimate stealth platform. Once it slips below the waves, you have no idea where it is. It is a very complex design, and you really want to get the design right before you start cutting steel. While the platform will continue to evolve over time, if I look at things like the combat system, technology is changing every day. From a submarine's design standpoint, you have to be able to incorporate those changes very quickly. It's really hard to say what the future will bring, but we really need those agile companies, small businesses, academia, to help us think through what the challenges of the future will be. The environment that you're seeing here in the lab is really set up to actually bring in local industry to understand their capabilities and capacities. You see a lot of creative thinking coming from a lot of different people. Straight and industry standpoint, you do get that sovereign capability to design, sustain, update, upkeep the boat for the life of the program. 2018 today and we're designing a submarine that's going into the water in 2030. We're building a team here, an Australian workforce designing and building the, the combat system here that is supported now by the US personnel from Lockheed Martin. When you think about the delivery schedule out to 12 submarines, you get out into the 2050s and sometime along that line. Today we have over 170 people all located here in South Australia as part of LMA. But it's thinking about what does the workforce need to look like tomorrow. Um, Lockheed Martin Australia has been very aggressive in bringing in graduates to the program. They may be young, right out of uni. In a few years' time, they'll be the leaders of the program. They'll be somebody sitting at my desk as the program director that's come through here through a grad program potentially. And that's an exciting opportunity. I always use the word designed by Australia, built by Australia, and sustained by Australia. I think we're on a good path to do that.